Hi, it's Dwayne Clark with the Mailbox Money Group. I want to uh, do a quick little video on commercial real estate investing for busy people. Um, most of my clients um, and partners or business owners are just plain um, busy people. Um, they're out there making sales to customers and clients. Um, they're marketing their business. They're in shops where they're, they're sweeping, they're uh, taking customer phone calls, they're dealing with employees and paperwork and taxes, and um, they're doing a lot of things. And then when they're home, they're they're with their families. Um, some of them have younger kids. Um, some have older kids in high school and college. Um, they do family trips. They do family events. Uh, some people just want to. Uh, do hobbies where they they do tennis and golf on the weekends or during the week. Um, so you were you know where I'm getting at. So all of this adds up. Um, so they have the business, they have the family life, they have the personal life, they have things that they're they're doing. And time is our most valuable asset that we have. Once it's gone, it's gone. So these investors, which I find very smart, they're very particular on the types of investments that they get involved in or they're moving their investments that they have into more smarter choices to fit their busy lifestyle so i have a lot of clients and partners that have moved from apartments office and flex and industrial buildings over to triple net lease properties now apartments and other different types of real estate um, asset classes are great. They do exactly what you need them to do is to deliver you cash flow and return on investment. But um, particularly apartments and other different types of investments, it requires landlord involvement. So you're out there um, fixing up the building, you're maintaining the building, you're leasing up the building. Um, if you have a manager, you're now managing the manager. I have a lot of people who make complaints that you know the manager is doing a terrible job and they end up cleaning up their mess and doing things to correct um, problems in the building that that person that you are paying is supposed to do. So instead of doing that, they end up selling the building and going into, um, which I talk about all the time, and that's our main focus with my partners and clients, is triple net lease properties. So under uh, a triple net lease investment, uh, you have a lease agreement with the tenant that that tenant is solely responsible for all of the expenses associated with the property. So you're talking about property taxes, um, insurance, utilities, property maintenance, um, and repairs. So they're handling all of that. In addition to paying you the owner uh, your monthly rent check. So what's good about these lease structures is that even with the ebbs and flows of the market, that tenant is still absorbing all of the costs associated with that property. So um, interest rates or um, a change in the marketplace that they're operating. And if they're on their long-term lease agreement, they have to adjust and still pay for those costs. So you as an owner, um, it's all built in and you get your monthly rent check. So that makes that very attractive for, uh, for busy entrepreneurs, business owners, and people that just value their time. Um, so you get all the same benefits is any traditional real estate, you know, as far as the tax benefits and all of the active owner benefits without being really an active owner. Another big benefit is that you get to take advantage of owning these types of properties um, out of your local marketplace. So if you live in um, Fort Worth, Texas, you can own property in Orlando, Orlando, Florida, still get all the, the, the benefits of owning that property as if you was right there on site, 
but not having to deal with any landlord involvement. So, so those are the, the major benefits. And um, that's why a lot of um, investors are moving over to this types of um, uh, investment asset class. So, so I hope that helps. Um, if you have any, any questions, reach out to me. Uh, if you want to have a conversation, schedule a call. I'd love to talk to you more about it, answer any questions, but I hope that video helps. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.